So we made it down to Luke Woodham's unit and we sort of got looking at his drift car a little bit but what actually took my eye more than that was his ridiculous race truck, trophy truck. What yeah, a, pro what light, is it? yeah, it's a pro light stadium truck. So it's um, a V8, that like space frame V8, yep. rear wheel drive. What's it actually designed for? What's it meant to be used for? Having fun. <laughs> this sounds like a no-brainer. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the start Luke Woodham where where's what have you done in drifting where have you been everywhere like everywhere yep. which is yeah which is really cool because it's it's taken me all over the world you know so we've drifted in loads of different countries done competitions in loads of different countries but I've pulled out of or stopped attending BDC yep because of Two reasons. One, it clashed with other dates that I was doing demos with, right. mainly for like World Rallycross. So it's like mega cool because on a world platform doing demos, yes. do you know what I mean, 50, 60,000. There was, I think it's like 80,000 people in France. It's do you know big, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So that, that was kind of a needs must, which obviously then they clashed and, you know. And then the other thing was, well, I was just out driving the car and what I had, so 380 horsepower SR. I'm like, I was trying to throw semi-slick tyres on it. I think the last time I drove that was in Denmark at a show called DHB. Right. And I was like, semi-slick 265s with like 300 yeah. yeah, And it was like, good. not, I had to maintain so much speed, which then makes you a better driver because you carry that momentum. Yes. But then when it comes to like chasing, I'm like catching, catching and catching cars that I shouldn't be catching. Yeah. But then they would then accelerate from the corner, slow down, then accelerate away kind of thing. And then I'm like clutch kicking, trying to catch up. Well, you've, you've done it in now. You, you've sort of been forced to do it in the correct, in the best way. Not yeah, the yeah. correct way. But some yeah. people jump in these big power cars yeah. and then it the sort of masks maybe a bit less skill. You've... 100%, yeah. I completely agree. Done it like, at the bottom end and yeah. outgrown the SR. Yeah, you just got to look, you know, the likes of the drivers like... Dan Chapman, original, like back in the day, yeah. was a big sender in low power cars. You yeah, can seriously exactly. pedal a car, you know? Mm. Put him into a big car. I think he drove a low, low brain car once or twice. Yeah, he did. And yeah, was yeah. unreal. Do you know what I mean? It just, that's kind of been that. Because that was the era that I started, and he was yep. a good dude that was like at the top of the game. Yeah, so I was like looking at him like, you know, that's kind of what you should be doing. So, basic spec of what's in there now, what? Oh, it's like custom built V8, like up everything in it like pistons rods you, you know full list it's got everything yeah basically it's just you know forged balance light and yeah 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 bigger compression everything but tried to keep it reliable so i didn't strap turbos and superchargers and stuff to it because yep. i don't know much about the v8s to do that to it if you know what i mean right, okay. like an sr i could tell you like whatever you need to do to an sr to make it competitive or yep. you know reliable I don't know much about it, so I'm kind of learning. Learning you know? as you go, but that's good. So, you you have a lot to do with building your car and stuff. It's not just a case yeah. you send it somewhere and you do it. No, you like Julian, like Garage D, has always yeah. looked after me. Like he's one of my good sponsors, and he is kind of guiding me the whole time. Like with the mm. SR, he kind of like looked after it and stuff. Yep. He'd kind of done like my geometry settings and stuff and bits and bobs. But then kind of I got more into it myself. Yeah. Then I was messing around like I got streamlined, so I'd start doing it, and then he would just do like the engine builds and stuff whatever yeah, you know yeah, like yeah. The, the bigger stuff like building the diffs and whatever yeah then obviously the v8 was built um elsewhere but he's still he's still involved with me so but yeah. i put the engine in right like he was like you shouldn't do it mid-season which i shouldn't do it shouldn't have done definitely yeah, not yeah, yeah. like you're an idiot for doing it like yeah. I, I know that but i had to do it to uh, to go back to the the Jim Carner stuff that you were doing, you've mm. obviously been quite well, very successful yeah. with that side of things. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it, it like kicked off many moons ago. It was like one of the first things I did. I started drifting. Yeah. Did like round one of 
Bailey Sale, like Lynn Hill, mm-hmm. moons ago, like 2012, whatever, 11 or 12. Yeah, yeah. And um, that was like my third drift date. And then like the same year, my mate, who is now my manager, was like, can you, you should do this event. And he was the one that like pushed me into it. So right. then I was, I had no idea, like, I'd been learning to drift and teaching myself to drift in the home-based car park, and, but I was going round stuff. Yeah, so yeah. it kind of came naturally for me to try and go around something, mm. but because it was close to houses, I'd try and keep the noise down, so I'd be off the throttle a lot, like just feathering the throttle. Yep. Well, I, little did I know that's kind of the way you do Jim Connor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of come naturally, and then, yeah, so I won the first event. I come second in the first event, actually, but I won the qualifier, and then it just mm. snowballed. But yeah, I, done, like, I won the championship real drive four times in a row yes yeah, uh, like, checks up on the wall yeah with the some of them there i mean was that 2017 so i think it was 16 15 40, yeah 14 15 16 17 i won and 18 2018 was like third place i made a mistake 2019 was written off because i had issues heat issues Didn't yep put decent fans on the car my own fault Live and learn. yeah is, are you gonna is it gonna be going back there again this year yeah it's going uh elsewhere this year right. so i've i've kind of heard rumours and seen stuff that it's going to be abroad again um, so yeah we have to get ready for the car to be shipped out I guess end of year Yeah, we lose it for probably I don't know two months I guess I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know we do as many BDC rounds of it leading up so I think I might just miss the last round right which could be okay or it could be really bad because it depends on how I'm doing what if, you, what if you're like <laughs> yeah. winning the championship all down then everything I don't know you know what I mean anything can happen you yeah. know what I mean I don't know I'm, I'm you could be upside down by then you could have rolled it ten I, times and I, I, I've rolled things before <laughs> it might happen again <laughs> yes I don't know you know it's one of the things I'm excited for just driving and having fun yeah and kind of bringing that element back where me you Adam used Ben to times back in like, the day. used to park next to uh, used to have like Jap speed boys, do you know what I mean? And then yep. there was like me in the middle, then there was like you boys, and we would play football, play frisbee, take the piss out of each other, obviously, mm. and then go and drive each other and like each drive each other off a circuit. So <laughs> there's, only, there's only Adam really now out of the you know the original slide team. Ben's judging. Yeah, shows his age. He's I a lot know. older than us. <laughs> and you've just got Adam. So do you think? Call it now. You and Adam against each other. Can you beat him? Hey, he's a V8 as well, isn't he? Yeah. See how things have changed. Can I beat T- him? Tell the camera, yeah. can you beat him or not? Yeah. His little hairdresser in Z4, isn't it? Yeah, it's all. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't got hair though, has he? Either. No. So he's probably polishing his head as a mirror. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll beat him. I think he's getting <laughs> confident here. Listen, look, good to see you, buddy. Good to see Thank you. Thank you for uh, making the time for us. If you want to see this thing and that, at Three Sisters, 27th, 28th and 29th of March, get your tickets now.